A Leprechaun St. Patrick's Day by Sarah Kerwin Blazik, illustrated by James Rice. This is the title page. A Leprechaun St. Patrick's Day. Tis a story that's told in a magical way of leprechaun mischief on St. Patrick's Day. Eleven tank gods were up with the dawn, gathering shamrocks on the old palace lawn. The leprechauns watched and kept out of sight from Fern's castle ruins where they slept that night. Herself in the kitchen making good breakfast bread, five lovely fresh loaves cooling out by the shed. The leprechauns were hungry, let's go see what's cooking. We'll grab a few loaves when herself's not looking. In a flash two were gone as herself turned her head. The leprechauns feasted on warm soda bread. Himself now awake, down the stairs he did creep. You know how an Irishman loves a good sleep. La fele nam padrek, he said with delight. You just put them loaves back, or you're in for a fight. In the door flew the children with eleven starved faces. The long wooden table had just enough spaces. Herself served a feed. Och, what a spread. But himself he was peeved. Kursia served him no bread. The leprechauns gathered out in the glade to make their plans for the big parade. Oh, children, do hurry, hear the bagpipes and drums? Grab your shamrocks, dash off to the fun. They climbed in the carts, decked with shamrocks a flutter. Old Nettie looked back and gave out a shudder. Through the town towards the church, from windows and trees, the green, white, and gold waved in the breeze. In church they welcomed the wild geese home, and prayed to St. Patrick that no more would roam. Then back to the carts, down the old Dublin road, through the mountains of Wicklow, the whole family rode. Arriving in Dublin, that city so fair, the crowds on O'Connell Street all stopped to stare. The leprechauns had planned a peculiar switch. The Lord Mayor's gold coach got stuck in a ditch. The parade headed off as all was now ready, Begora leading them all, the cart and old Nettie. From the Dublin doorways, how the crowds did shout, Slantia to you all, raising cruskeens of stout. The bands and the floats all wearing the green, the loveliest sight you've ever seen. Past the grand GPO, the parade it did wind, the leprechauns followed closely behind. Himself and herself, with their eleven tank gods, arrived in the stand mid smiles and nods. In Cleary's store windows, the banners exclaimed, Kied mille falta, we're so glad you came. How the liffy it sparkled on that special day, sprinkled with stardust, lighting the way. Yet the day wasn't over, for the Keeley began, now they jigged and reeled to a grand Irish band. A fine feed before them of cabbage and bacon, set out for a king, and there for the taken. Ced mille falte, St. Patrick's Day comes but once a year, when everyone shares in good Irish cheer. The end.